Hello, my brothers and sisters. Today I wanted to share about the fruit of the Spirit, kindness, and what it's meant in my life over just this past you know, month or so. And in Greek, it means goodness, it means excellence, and uprightness. And it's uh, G5544, that's the Strong's Concordance number for the fruit of the Spirit, kindness. And um, what it says is, and I'm just going to read this off my, have our little card right here. Um, I looked this up to get the official, you know, what it says in the Strokes Concordance. Um, and it says that meeting real needs in God's way, in His timing, and in His fashion. And there is no term in the whole English language that they really have to describe this kind of kindness. And I thought that was beautiful. That, you know, they're just in the English language, there aren't words to describe certain things about God. You just have to try to experience them for yourself and learn of His ways. God is so good and in saying that he's good, it's his goodness. It's not what the world, it's not the world's goodness. It's, it's his goodness. He works things. This is something profound to me. Um, that he works everything together for our good. Both good and what we call bad, he can turn it around and... Just because you had to go through that thing doesn't mean that he wasn't in there working it out for your good. Otherwise, he wouldn't let the devil, you know, take anything, you know, from you. Um, but he allows Satan to test you in order that you learn through it and you become stronger. You become closer to him and you learn more about who he is and who you are. To him, um, I just uh, wrote a little prayer here. Father, keep my mind humble. Give me compa a compassionate heart. Direct my path and help me to accomplish your ways and your timing. Through Christ, we display the riches of his grace. And I thought that was pretty profound too. Because His grace, when He died on the cross for our sins, it was, it was by grace. And I relate grace and mercy together. But um, grace is um, a free gift that God gave of Himself in order for us to step into Him. Step into his ways and um, the different aspects of his life we can now like plug into and 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 show other people who he is through through Christ we display his rich aspects if we're walking in Him, if we're doing what He wants us to do, we should be displaying the fruit of the Spirit. We should be showing kindness in His way. And it's it's allowed that way. Like, um, the other day I went to the grocery store and this guy was sitting there in, the, in a, a wheelchair. He had a veteran's cap on. And I didn't hear what he said at first. He said, well, there's four dollars <laughs> and I, I just was like what what was that I didn't hear what you said and he said I said that was there's four dollars worth because I had like two hundred and some dollars worth of groceries in my cart and it was full and I asked him if he was doing okay and I just 
taking these opportunities of looking around and, you know, who's in my path today and how can I show God's love and what would God want me to do for this person or say to this person? And since he was in a wheelchair, I asked him if he was okay. And he was like, no, not really. And I said, well, can I pray for you? And he said, yes. <laughs> and my daughter was with me and I took her hand and I put my hand on his hand as Jesus, you know, would do. He, he showed his love by, you know, touching the people, put our hand on his hand. It was, you know, cold as, you know, you get older, your hands aren't getting the circulation. And so it probably felt warm to him, you know, that love of Jesus is warm. And I looked at him after I got done praying for him. And uh, my daughter was praying for him too and he had a tear coming down his cheek and so I knew that that was God's kindness that was God's love you know just reaching out to him and um, showing God's kindness so I just pray that God keeps me humble keeps my heart humble and helps me do more helps me to to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit is wanting that person to see in me. You know, what part of Jesus am I going to portray today? And I want to portray whatever it is that He wants me to portray, not my idea of what someone else needs or, or what I think that they want, but just let the Holy Spirit lead and guide and direct us in his paths of righteousness and um, I wanted to share one other kind of heart <laughs> felt thing the other day I was I woke up and um, I uh, was just thanking the Lord for how wonderful he is and how good he is to me and and telling him I love you and I can't wait to see you face to face. And as soon as I said it, the thought came into my mind. And I take that as that's what he's saying to me. You know, when it comes into my mind like that, like, bam. You know, it's not like a you have to sit and think what he, he might be wanting to say to you. It just kind of pops right into your head. And he said, I see you face to face, to face right now. Like, I am right here in the room with you. I am looking at you. I am right here in your face. And I see you face to face. And so that just was beautiful to me. And I pictured my grandpa when the night before he died. He had me sit in his lap. And um, he touched my face. And he said, your face is so soft. And I had gotten him a blanket and made him a fire. And so that uh, remembrance of that day came to my mind as he was saying that to me. And I was like, Jesus, if you want to, I'm, I'm lying down right now. So if I faint, it's okay if you want to touch my face. And so I was like preparing myself. <laughs> In case he touched my face and and he reminded me of what um, Thomas said when Thomas wanted to make sure it was Jesus there. He was like, let me feel, let me see that, you know, he, Jesus was telling Thomas, you know, look at the hand, look at my hands, the holes in my hands. And um, he's like, it is you, Jesus, it is you. And And Jesus said to him. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. And I think that's what we need to do. We need to, to just trust and uh, obey. And that's how we're happy in Jesus. And there's a song about that if you don't know it. And I'm not going to sing anymore <laughs> on YouTube. 
because I am not that good of a singer. And but there is also a song that keeps coming to my mind every time I prepare to like I'm gonna do this video today. So I'll sing just a little bit, but don't laugh. <laughs> and it's uh, you probably know it if you've been in church, but it's Thy loving kindness is better than life. Thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise Thee. Thus will I bless Thee. I will lift up my hands unto the Lord. Yeah, I won't sing the rest. <laughs> but it's a beautiful song about his loving kindness is better than life. And so just remember when you're going through something that let Jesus, he's leaning into you. And this was something else that uh, it said that he's extending his love towards you. You can't see it, but it's there. Just imagine it because it's there. And since we can't see it into that realm, just know that it's there. And it's le he's leaning toward you. And when you lean toward him, then... He moves towards you more and his love will consume you. His love will envelop around you and he's so gracious and, and slow. Oh, we just want to throw a little thing in here. I was in the chat room the other day on Paul Bagley. I go in there a lot and um, I look forward to that every single day. But um, there was someone in there that was saying uh, that they had asked God to do something for them. I'm just paraphrasing. So these aren't his exact words. But he was like, um, I asked God to help me. And, he, you know, he didn't answer me. You know, well, he doesn't answer you in the way you want him to. He's going to do it in his way, which is always better. But he couldn't wait for that, so he asked Satan to help him or whatever. And he was saying, now he can't get rid of Satan. And Satan's like messing with him. So Satan might give you what you want for a season, but it's going to bite you. I mean, it's that snake like Trump was talking about. You know, you bring that snake in, it's poisonous. You knew it was poisonous, and you're going to get... You're going to get bit. You play in the devil's backyard, you might end up, you know, in a cage or something and him torturing you. And I just, I typed to him and said, you know, tell those demons to be gone in Jesus' name. And make sure you repent afterwards because if, if, if you get rid of a demon and you've not repented, and I don't even know if you can cast a demon out of yourself. I'm really not sure about that. If you guys know, write it down in the comments. Because that is a question that I have. And I hope the Lord will show me in His Word more about that. But I'm not going I'm not going to try to find out <laughs> if I can cast a demon out of myself. Or if I can even be possessed. Because I'm a child of God. I'm not going to even, you know, test that one or whatever. People are crazy these days. And they just... Okay, I'm not going to go on a rant, <laughs> but um, this is about God's loving kindness, and it's better than life, and so I just thank you all for watching, and um, oh yeah, one more thing, um, I don't know how to um, edit a video yet, or add something in, this, um, this is a blanket that I'm working on right now. And I just think it's beautiful. So that's what I'm started on. And uh, I have a whole bunch of them that I'm going to just do in a separate video. Just so you can see what I've been doing. But this is part of kindness. I do this um, to share the love of Jesus with people. 
it's kind of like a big hug and I do it for Paul Bakley Prophecy and mail them blankets and then I've made some for my home and for you know people in my family so I'm just going to put those on there not the ones that I send to Paul Bakley but you'll get to see some of my work and um always looking for new patterns if any of the ladies that see this uh, crochet and you have a favorite pattern you could put that like a link to it or the name of it down there because <laughs> I'm always looking for new patterns to make so god bless you all and thank you for watching my video